Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm g and and in this episode of the United Way we are taking on Tottenham away at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in the Premier League and then it's a Battle of Britain match in the Champions League against Rangers at Old Trafford. And so far it's been an okay start to the season. New signings have settled in pretty decent. Uh, we've had a good run of form. We backed up that win against Chelsea on the opening day with a 6-0 win over Brighton at home. Goals for Highland, uh, Rashford, Shaw and Rafinha getting his first. And things seemed to be going decent at that point. Then we had a Manchester derby against Man City and we lost that 2-1 uh, late goal for Highland, pulling one back. But we were completely dominated in that game and just uh, outclassed by City. Then we took on Southampton away from home. This was a bit of a nightmare game, to be honest. We went 2-0 up. Uh, things looked to be going really good. Rougerie with his first goal, Highland with another. Then uh, Southampton pulled it back to 2-2 and then a 94th minute penalty for them made it 3-2 and made it back-to-back -back defeats for us in the Premier League. We bounced back with a, in style with a huge win over Newcastle, and Kepran Turam did sign, after all, uh, from Nice for £20 million initially, rising up to £45 million, and he got his first goal for us in this game. Highland scored as well, two for Ivan Tony, Scalvini with his first goal, and Bruno Fernandes in a 6-1 win over Newcastle, and a really good performance. We then beat Villarreal in our first Champions League game, 3-0, two for Highland, one for Sesco, and that was a really good, good performance. But that was followed up by another uh, terrible away performance in the Premier League. A 4-2 defeat to Brentford. Ivan Tony going back to his old club. Sesco put us in front, actually. But then they took over from there. Rashford got another goal. But a 4-2 win for them. A terrible away performance in the Premier League. We took on Luton then in the Carabao Cup. Defending our uh, cup from last season. A 3-0 win. Menu and Tony with the goals. Then a Premier League win at home, 5-1 against Nottingham Forest. Goals for Rashford, uh, Rafinha, Ivan Tony, Sesco and Highland. Highland has been in brilliant form. Then we took on Inter Milan in the Champions League. And a really good performance again at home. Fell behind but responded really well. Two for Highland, one for Rafinha. A 3-1 win over Inter Milan. Then it was a away game against Wolves. Two for Benjamin Sesco in this in a 2-1 win. And we really were uh, dominant at that point. And then we took on Liverpool in the Premier League at home. And we fell behind early in this game to Gapo. But Rafinha and then Ivan Tony really making himself popular with the fans with the winner against Liverpool. That was a huge win for us. And then it was Marseille away in the Champions League. And this was an up and down game from the start. We uh, took the lead through Ivan Tony from the penalty spot. Then Marseille got two goals in four minutes to go ahead 2-1. Uh, Highland equalised though and then uh, Ivan Tony with another winner in the Champions League for a 3-2 away win and there we are we're in fifth position in this new format on nine points tied at the top with a number of teams so the Champions League going really well at the moment we go back now to our last uh, Premier League game was uh, though after that was another poor away performance which has been a bit of an issue uh, draw against Leicester Sesco put us ahead Ian Acho equalised for them and that has left us in fourth position in the Premier League we are eight points behind City on top, and we are four points behind Fulham in second. Aston Villa also ahead of us, so a few shock teams ahead of us. And the last game we played before today's episode was the fourth round of the Carabao Cup, and it was a 3-0 win against Reading. Goals for Ivan Tony, who's had a really good start to his United career, and Anthony Martial with a rare start and a rare goal. So that's everything caught up on. So let's get to the team news for this first game away against Tottenham, and we're going with this lineup. Uh, you'll see Turam in the midfield alongside Casemiro. He's really done well in that position. And then uh, the other change is uh, Dallo is on it right back. He is now back to full fitness. And up front, it's going to be Highland and Tony with Sesco on the bench. So let's get to Tottenham and hopefully another Premier League three points. On the way here at the Tottenham Hotspur team, they're no longer managed by Ange Poscalasco. <laughs> um, yeah, Big Ange was sacked a year ago to this day, 1st November during the first season. So a new manager at Tottenham. Hopefully though, same results for them. Corner kick here for Tottenham. Son to take it in towards the near post. Romero gets there first and heads it home. And we fall behind away in the Premier League again. Our away form in the league has been terrible this season. And we are behind here. Poor defending from this corner. Son takes it in towards the near post. Romero gets there first. Powers home the header past Onana and past the man on the post. 26 minutes gone. 1 0 down. Free kick for Spurs here. Madison to take it. And he is going to clip it into the box. Can we defend this better than the corner? Well, Son has run on to it. So that's a clever free kick from Tottenham. Back to Madison. In a lot of space. Hits the crossbar. Shaw just boots it clear towards Highland. He heads it on. We've got away with one there. Onana with the goal kick. And he goes out to Dallow. 
he takes it down plays it into Turam who's done really well since he signed and he's on a great run here here's Turam can he open up Tottenham that's a poor pass commentator's curse there maybe here's Pedro Poro into Bendicourt as Tottenham try and pass it around and Regulon who of course was on loan with us last season but he's back at Spurs now Bentecourt into Madison Turam gets a foot in but he can't win it back and now Tottenham still have it or a little bit opened up Bentecourt has options here he can play it through to Pedro Poro he's into the box he's going to take the shot he's going to put us 2-0 down and the away uh, nightmare is continuing Spurs on top in this game and this is a bit of a nightmare a bit of an issue I have to sort out is our away form and that may be uh, having to change our tactic when we're away from home but we were opened up so easy Luke shot out of position and Pedro Poro fires a pass on Anna just after the half hour mark we're 2 down on a kick for Spurs comes into the centre Onana comes doesn't claim it and has he given away a penalty is it Onana there was a foul I'm not sure what we're looking at here but it looks like Tottenham are going to get a penalty to go 3-0 up in this game and they do penalty it was Casemiro give it away a push on Bentecourt and a chance for Tottenham to go 3-0 up before half time and a real first half hammering for us Madison to take it against Onana and it's down the centre I think and <laughs> Madison puts them 3-0 up Seals the three points for them already before half time. And it's going to be another away defeat. As I've said, it's something I'm going to have to sort out. Down. Ah, it was to the right actually, to the side net. Madison, great free, or great penalty. 3 0 down. Poro with a throw in here. Sure, we're not going to go 4 0 down before half time. Zuma has it. Casemiro in. Got a yellow card for giving away that penalty. Here's Rafina. Has options here. Ivan Tony. Tony, can we pull one back? Highland! We can! Highland with his 15th goal of the season already. He's really in lightning form. We have one back. We're maybe not completely dead yet. Casemiro making up for the penalty by winning that back. Rafinha picked out Ivan Tony, Done well to get into the box. He then squares it for his strike partner. He taps it home. And right on half time, we have a goal back. And now, as we go into half time, it's 3 1. We have an outside chance of getting something out of this game. But we're going to have to be a lot, lot better in this second half. Tottenham in control here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. First highlight of the second half comes in injury time here. Really has petered out this game. Luke Shaw with the throw in towards Highland. Back to Shaw. Can he get a cross in? Garnacho has come off the bench. Garnacho, 3 2. We've made it 3 2. There are two minutes of injury time left. It could be too little, too late for us. And Garnacho sprints back with the ball. Well worked goal in the end. Shaw, Highland plays it back to Shaw. Over to Garnacho, who's in a lot of space here at the edge of the box. He brought it in, composed himself, took the shot. Past the Spurs keeper, but I don't think we're going to get out now this game. Time is going to tick down. It's going to be an away defeat for us again. There it is, the full-time whistle. So, a defeat here against Tottenham. We look at the league table. And that puts us down to fifth position. Arsenal moving ahead of us. And that is real disappointment. And something we're really going to have to sort out. Well, hopefully we can bounce back from that defeat in the Champions League here at home to Rangers. A couple of changes to the team. Mostly through fitness problems. Uh, Scalvini has a knock. So, Martinez comes in at centre-back. Rogeri comes in at left-back for Luke Shaw. Patrick Borg comes in for Casemiro alongside Turam. And Benjamin Sesko comes in up front alongside Highland instead of Ivan Tony. Can we keep our 100% Champions League record up and running? So, Champions League night here at Old Trafford. There's our lineup with those changes we've made from the Spurs game. Hopefully we get a much better performance here against Rangers. It should be a game we win easily, but you never know with it being a Battle of Britain game. They might be really up for it and cause a shock. At home, though, we should be the better team. And we should definitely have more quality as the teams come out here at Old Trafford for this game. And uh, hopefully we'll make it 12 points from 12. And almost certainly secure knockout Champions League football for after Christmas. So, on the way here at Old Trafford, it's nil nil. Anna with the goal kick out to Dallow. He takes it down back to Gertruya. He plays out to Rougerie, who will bring it forward and into midfield Luke Shaw wasn't fit enough to start so he's in for his first Champions League start Rougerie Highland losing possession there so Rangers have it they go back to their goalkeeper Jack Butlin in goals for them he goes long this should be won in the air by Martinez it is it'll fall to Sesco now what can he do here's Rafina has space to run into the Brazilian Rafina has options now for the cross oh it's a poor one from Rafina Butlin comes out claims it and ends that attack as he'll now look to clear it long again. Once again, Martinez should win this in the air. He does. Sesco has it now down to Highland. Highland, 2 1 and 1. Brilliant finish from Ramos Highland. His 16th goal of the season. What a season he's having. His second season here at United. Already better than his first. 
and he just can't stop scoring at the moment our main man up front comes from their long ball won in the air by Martinez Sesco quickly played it down to Highland he was true one on one brilliant finish fast Butland four minutes gone we're one nil kick for Rangers they go long and it'll be one in the air by Ruggieri down to uh, Marcus Rashford over to Dallow into Turam has a bit of space but he goes back to Dallow Rafinha now has it infield to Sesco gets turned plays it over the top for Rashford is he going to cut it back Rashford Highland it's two that's another for the big Dane oh huge goal for him there gives us a two goal lead probably wraps up this game unless we collapse like we did earlier in the season away to Southampton but I can't see that happening tonight Rafinha into Sesco he plays a lovely ball here over the top for Rashford I thought he was going to square it first time but he took a touch back to Highland first time finish from him past Butland we're two nil up Martinez in possession here bringing it forward to Rashford he tries to get torn but he can't quite so he goes back to Martinez infield to Berg has options ahead of him Rougerie who's come in from left back Sesco down to Rashford is this three oh Rangers with last ditch defending there and we really are on top let's hope these missed chances don't come back to cost us here's Berg with the corner kick and he whips it in Goldson heads it clear but Couturia gets there Berg Couturia has space is he going to take the shot no he's forced back Plays it out to Dallow, into Turam. Oh, couldn't quite get through to Sesco. Martinez has it now, and that's the end of that. So in here, if Rougerie will go long with it, in towards... No, he didn't, he went short to Rashford. Back to Rougerie, in comes the cross. Turam is there. Turam with his second goal for the club. It's Turam making it 3-0. It's what we deserve. We've been on top, we've had chances, and now we have our third goal. Came from this dummy long throw, which was nicely played back to Rougerie. He plays in the cross. Turam was there at the far post, he bet his man, heads it past Butland, and we go 3 0 up. Rashford wins it back for us. Berg has options ahead of him. Sesco, Highland makes the run ahead of him, but he cuts in field. Turam into Rafina. Is this four? It isn't because Butland makes another brilliant save. He has kept Rangers from being embarrassed in this first half. Here is Rafina with the corner kick, whips it in. Sesco's there. Oh, he's at the crossbar. Oh, great chance for Benjamin Sesco. But it hits the cross. Half time here at Old Trafford. What a performance that was in the first half. Dominated the game. 3 0 up. Could have been more only for Jack Butlin in goals. Dominated the game. And we look like we're going to take another win in the Champions League. Corner kick. Berg to take it in towards the near post. Sesco heads it in. He gets his goal. Hit the crossbar at the end of the first half. Early in the second, he has it. Heads it home. And that's great to see him get a goal because he's been a little bit out of the team with the form of Ivan Tony. But when he's come in, he's done well. And there he goes. Heading home past Butlin. Oh, with 53 minutes gone, we are 4 0 up. Nana with the goal kick, and he plays it to Baselli. He brings it forward. Mason Mount quickly onto Rafina. Two strikers ahead make a run, but has to cut back here. Sesco. Sesco over the top for Jaden Sancho. Into uh, Highland. Hat trick. Yes. Champions League hat trick for Ramos Highland. And that is the perfect way to end this night. He's been playing so well. He deserves that hat trick. 5 0 now against Rangers. Completely on top. Rafina brought in field. Sesco quickly over the top for Sancho and he picks out Highland, took a touch, composed himself, puts it past Butland, we're 5 0 up. Full time here at Old Trafford, 5 0 win, completely in control, brilliant way to bounce back from that disappointment against Spurs and puts us in control now of our own destiny in the Champions League. Well, there we have it, four wins from four in the Champions League. We are joint top of this new league phase format with Man City, Real Madrid, and PSG. And with uh, remaining fixtures against Partizan and Porto, we should be able to get through to at least the playoffs, but probably straight through to the last 16, which will be great for us to be back there after last year's disappointment against PSG. So for the next episode, we're going to come back in February, when the Champions League will probably be kicking off once again. Uh, we actually have four games left in the Champions League, I've just noticed. We have Slavia, Prague and Barcelona. Uh, so yeah, we still get through to the knockouts, I'd say, comfortably enough. And we're going to come back in February for a game... Uh, away against Brighton and then there's probably going to be a Champions League game in that month so we'll take on whoever that is in the Champions League probably the second leg of whatever tie knockout tie that is so if you did enjoy today's episode please drop a like on the video oh it's good to see more likes and that people enjoy them don't forget to leave any feedback you have in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure you're ready for the main save when the main game comes out it is of course Jobless to Greatness where we will be starting off unemployed no experience, no coaching badges, with the ultimate goal of winning one of Europe's top five leagues with a club that hasn't won it this century. 
subscribing we'll make sure you get every post videos will be posted monday to friday 6 p.m irish time and uh yeah that's the best way to catch them is subscribing there's also a playlist on the channel if you want to catch up on anything that's happened at united so far and until the next episode please take it easy <music>